we all pass and fade footsteps in time the only true death is to not have lived i read this viking text on odin's nomadic warriors the facebook group so i wondered for long how we know when we have lived it depressed me because all manner of situation flooded my mind that will only be chaos if it were true and it seemed impossible for me to determine when a person truly lived all through the night it was on my mind whilst i was supposed to be asleep i did not feel deserving of sleep for it was starting to look like i might not have been living in the true sense of it morning came and i was deep in thought to explain to myself what having lived really means this is one of those ideas a google search would only trivialize i felt a burden on my heart that i most possibly have not been living the way i am supposed to it was the reason i seriously needed to arrive at an understanding of the phrase the only true death is not to have lived I whispered a prayer for help when it was clear I wasn't getting anywhere. God inspired me to live. God spark my brain to live. God blow my mind to live. Then, indeed, he responded. He dropped a thought in my mind. How do we evaluate people in life? We evaluate people using their work. We think of people in terms of the work they do. No matter what else people do in life, we know people by the work they do. Pele was a footballer. Maradona was a footballer. I Dathos was a clergyman. Princess Diana was royalty. Manu Dibangu was a musician. Professor Miller Jaja was a surgeon, and so on. We describe people from the standpoint of their work. We live through our work. Therefore, to have lived, we must be known by a certain line of work that we are proficient in. We may do or we may be many other things alongside it but we are generally known by that first profession by which we came to public awareness. Coming to public light does not have to be global. In a person's local environment, he or she need only be identifiable as the head teacher of the local school, or the baker, or the laundryman, or the electrician. So, for me, even with as simple a definition as that, I had nothing to say that I am. That must be the reason it resonated deeply within me that true death is only if one had not lived. To get to this point of life I have become different things at various stages. But none to the extent that I could be categorized as a tradesman. No one knows me for anything, yet I am so many things that the public has not seen me be. It frightens me that I seem not to exist. What if my life ended today? No one would know what to say about me. Not even my supposed close family. I must therefore focus my energy on one line of activity or enterprise to gain public notice by that. It does not matter whether or not I think it fitting for my intellect. If not, the world could easily not see me at all as anyone. The good thing from all of this is that my inquiry into the actual meaning of true living 
has brought me to this place where I have to define my life or categorize my activities into a mold of work that people can say is what I do. In a way it can guide me into a more measurable existence through that one known occupation, whilst I still do summer all the others in my stride. Jesus was a carpenter, and then later he focused on preaching. There is not enough time in life to do everything we would like to do.